What's the bet? All right, the wager is whoever gets closer wins. And then we're going to bet... Um, the winner gets... Right, bragging rights. Yeah, bragging rights. Right. <laughs> I might have a chance. I'm not that good at archery, but you know, being the underdog and all. It's a good place to be. Yeah. Okay, you guys can draw and shoot your first arrow. Yeah. 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 I think he won. I think he won. Yeah, right. Just yeah, above the blue one. You got it all the time. Nice. So good. Good job, I guess so. It is one of the few places where I actually like belong, I guess, because it. Everywhere else, I always feel like the the odd one out. Here, I don't. How are you doing? Good. Good. What activity do you have last? Um, archery. Archery? Do you hit the target? Once. Once? Okay, better than no time. Camp Carefree is my favorite place in the whole world. We are a camp through the American Diabetes Association for kids ages 8 to 17 with type 1 diabetes. I first came when I was 9 and there is no community that is more supportive or welcoming than camp. We often say the coolest thing about coming to camp is that diabetes becomes the least interesting thing about you um, because every single camper and the majority of our counselors and our medical staff are all experiencing the same things together. <laughs> this will be my third year as a counselor and uh, I just love it. I love coming to camp. I love the, the atmosphere. It definitely changed my life when I was a kid so I'd love to give back. Um, you don't really meet a lot of diabetics out um, in the real world, one would say. Um, so it is cool to come to this camp and feel just normal. If everyone's going through the same thing. You meet friends that you will have for the rest of your life, people that understand what you're going through. Um, like I said, it's truly life-changing and it, it's almost kind of magical. So let's get our meters and our PPMs. If you guys need a finger prick, let's talk to Dr. Brown. Outside of camp, it it does kind of feel like you're single out sometimes, having to explain every little thing you do to everyone else, and having so much responsibility as a kid to take care of this big, bad disease. And, you know, Cam just makes you realize that, you know, we're all in it together. There's so many people like us. It's just something we have to do, and we all do it. What makes camp so special to me is, um, even when I was at my lowest point in life, I still had my camp friends and they helped me and they made me feel so much better. I don't know, they just I adjusted so many things so I could be involved in the things that they were involved in. And it just helped me a lot. We got the rhythm of the beat! 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 our carbohydrates so uh, we count our carbs to give insulin uh, because we are diabetic and some of us give it through shots and some of us give it through our insulin pumps this is our routine before every meal before I even knew about this camp my blood sugar was going crazy but then when they came to this camp the schedule is so well done that my blood sugar is staying really stable and nice right now. All the folders are gonna stay in the center. We're writing down our numbers when Dr. Mike comes here. I think it gives parents comfort knowing that there are more endocrinologists and diabetes educators um, and nurses on site than you would find at any time in any hospital. Um, and so we do have a really great medical team um, and that helps our campers to be able to relax for the week and enjoy camp without having to worry about their diabetes. And it also gives our parents a chance to refuel their batteries so that way when our campers come home, they can be the best selves for their children or for their campers because they are doing so much work and to keep their children healthy and we want to be able to give them a little bit of a break if possible. 
Alright, let's say it's started again. <laughs> is this Nick? Nick was my camper when he was. How old were you? Like nine. Nine. Like nine. In the jumping juniper, right there. 16. And, uh, about to be 17. Came every single time I can. And Love his first year. first year, he cried every single night that he missed his mom. And we are so happy to have him back as a leader at camp. I know. The last few summers, I've been able to see campers that I had as eight year olds when I was their counselor, and now they are becoming counselors. And so to see that full circle of camp is really, really powerful. Um, and I want to continue to see that happen and to be able to offer the camp experience to new families because it absolutely was life-changing to me um, and I would love to pass that experience on to as many people as possible. I think the world needs a lot more camp um, and needs the kindness that camp has um, and so we tell our campers at the end each year like take a little bit of camp and spread that out into the rest of the world and the world would be a much better place.